Hello and welcome to Dhyas Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn what is a reflex arc. First, let's understand what is a reflex. A reflex is an action that is performed without your conscious thought as a response to a stimulus. A reflex arc is a nerve pathway involved in a reflex action using a sensory nerve and a motor nerve with the synapse between them. A synapse is nothing but a junction between two nerve cells consisting of a very small gap across which impulses can pass through. There are two main types of reflex arcs. They are the autonomic reflex arc and the somatic reflex arc. The autonomic reflex arc affects the internal organs and the somatic reflex arc affects the muscles. Autonomic reflex arc involves the autonomic nervous system which controls the involuntary functions like heart rate, digestion, breathing, etc. Reflexes that regulate blood pressure and digestion are the best examples of autonomic reflex arc. Somatic reflex arc involves the somatic nervous system which controls voluntary movements of skeletal muscles. Pulling away your hand while touching a hot object is the best example of a somatic reflex arc. The reflex arc has five components. They are the receptor, the sensory neuron, the integration center, the motor neuron and the affector. The sensory receptor senses and detects a stimulus. The sensory neuron carries the signals from the receptors to the brain or the spinal cord. The integration center could be the spinal cord or the brain where the signals are processed. The motor neuron carries the signals from the integration center to the affector. An affector could be a muscle or a gland that responds to a stimulus. I have made a simple working model to demonstrate the reflex action and the way it works. As you see in the model, when the fingertip touches a fire, a stimulus is encountered and the signal from the stimulus travels up through a sensory neuron and reaches the spinal cord. Sensory neuron is shown in red color in this model. The signal that reaches the spinal cord further passes through a short interneuron shown in black. From the interneuron, the signal travels further down towards origin through a motor neuron shown in green. Finally, after receiving the signal from the motor neuron, the muscle contracts and moves the hand away from the fire. Did you know that a single reflex arc, including all these processes described above, happens in just about 20 to 40 milliseconds? Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here, right now? Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. DS1 Play.